Hi, this is John Clements. Welcome to the UMass Video Fruit Advisor. Today is September 9th, 2009, and we're here in a uh, tall spindle apple orchard. This is Ragged Hill Orchard in West Brookfield, Massachusetts. And the reason we're here is I want to show you this second leaf tall spindle apple planting um, that uh, Keith Arsenal, the owner, with my help, put this in last year. And uh, this orchard was part of the Massachusetts Orchard Production Upgrade Program, Mop Up for short. Um, that was a small grant I wrote to our Department of Agricultural Resources, the Mass Department of Agricultural Resources, um, to provide some money for growers to buy some trees so they could try this tall spindle apple system. Now what we did was got enough money for about 10,000 trees and actually um, worked it out. So we put in 11 of these plantings, 11 different orchards, approximately one acre. Uh, the trees are planted three by 12 feet in general. And we use the most common varieties that are grown in, in Massachusetts, such as uh, Macintosh, obviously, Honeycrisp, uh, Cortland, Macown. We did some Galas and some Fujis. And um, as you can see here, I think the trees have done very well. Um, Keith has done a really nice job here. And I, I think this is a tremendous success. So I'm going to show you some of the apples um, individually and, and look and see how they've done. And um, just wrap it up after that. Uh, hopefully uh, you'll see how great this orchard is doing. Now these Honeycrisp are on M9 Pagem 2 rootstock. Um, from Willow Drive Nursery. Um, they've grown up to seven to eight feet in tall. They were seven sixteenths inch trees when we got them, but they had nice uh, short feathers on them. Uh, we're sure shooting for a crop load of approximately 10 Honeycrisp per tree. And as you can see, most of these Honeycrisp have just about that. So this is a really nice crop of Honeycrisp on second leaf trees here. Here we have Oval Early Fuji on M9. Uh, these are an earlier ripening Fuji with nice red color and these Fuji seem to be very productive in the second leaf um, Easily 10 to 15 apples per tree and they've done very well These are Gale Gala from Vanwell Nursery. Gale Gala is a very uh, red coloring solid solid Gala um, These again have set a nice crop of, of 10 to 15 fruit per tree on average. Notice to how tall these gale galas have gotten. They're up close 8 to 10 feet in the second leaf here, which is a really good growth on these trees. These were nice trees and grew very well. We also have some Buckeye Gala trees here from Columbia Basin Nursery on M9. Buckeye Gala is also a really dark red gala. Um, should be ready to harvest here within the week. And these trees um, also have done really well growing up to say the 8 to 10 foot range here in their second leaf. Um, a little lighter crop maybe about 10, 10 fruit per tree but that's just where we want it to be on these second leaf trees. That's here we have Gibson Golden Delicious. These trees were from Vanwell Nursery planted on M9 rootstock and um, a little weaker growing but they're doing okay. Uh, they only have say oh 5 to 10 fruits per tree but that's good because um, uh, we don't want to overcrop them here in the second leaf. This is Gibson Golden Delicious. These are Red Cork Cortland. Uh, these trees are on B9 rootstock and um, not a big crop on them. They were rather small trees when we got them, um, but they've really grown and taken off this year. So I expect next year we'll have a really nice crop on these Red Cork Cortlands. These trees were from Stark Brothers Nursery and uh, they've grown very tall and well this year. Here we have Macown, which is a local favorite. These are on B9 rootstock, again from Stark Brothers, and have grown very well this year. I have a nice crop of between five and 10 apples per tree, so that's just where we want them. Macown is a real local favorite apple here in Massachusetts. People love them, and I expect these to do very well on this tall spindle system. Here we have Rising Sun Fuji, which is another early Fuji, ready about the third week in September here in Massachusetts. Rising Sun is an international plant management introduction. A really nice crop on these trees, probably 15 to 20 apples per tree, which is more than we'd like to have. These trees are also on M9 rootstock, and uh, they were purchased from Pro Tree Nurseries 
they were really nice trees when they came in and have grown and, and done very well here. So hopefully we'll set a crop in the third leaf after what's this very good crop in the second leaf. That's Rising Sun Early Fuji. Well that wraps up the tour of the cultivars here in this second leaf tall spindle planting. Just a couple details I'd like to point out uh, that contribute to the success of this is one, you have to use fully dwarfing rootstocks such as M9 or B9. Plant the trees three feet by 12 feet apart. Um, make sure the graft union is exposed a good four to six inches at planting. Um, I like to use these U-hooks to support the trees to three or four wires to a height of about 10 feet. The U-hooks um, work very well in, in keeping the tree in place. So um, those are kind of my secrets to success. You don't want to overcrop second leaf trees, but we do want to have some apples, up to about 10 apples per tree. And I'm looking forward to seeing how these plantings do down the row. So far the growers have been very enthusiastic about wanting to plant trees this way. And I think this uh, mop-up project is a huge success. John Clements for the UMass Fruit Advisor here in the middle of Macintosh and Honeycrisp Harvest in Mac Massachusetts. I um, hope you enjoyed the, this little video segment and we will talk to you later.